Saturday is cyclone day. Da -da. Though technically it won't be a cyclone when we uh, get to it, but never let that get in the way of a good story, so we're going to call it a cyclone. Um, it'll actually just be uh, a tropical disturbance, as they call them here, um, which will essentially be like a low pressure system, which in Northern Europe and any kind of country in the mid latitudes, you get hammered by on a regular basis. So in some ways it's nothing that new and exciting to those people in terms of the wind strength. Um, but in terms of how it develops and what type of system it is, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, it's much more convective and you don't have fronts and nice clearing skies and things like that. So it is a little different. But in terms of wind strength, it's nothing or this one won't be anything too out of the ordinary. This is uh, currently where we are. And we've cruised down, cruised around from uh, Cape Town, avoided a bit of the Aguilaris current, came up by Madagascar, um, didn't see any penguins driving tankers, which is a shame, or any animals escaped from any zoos, though I suspect if you look around on this boat you might find a few. Um, and then we uh, headed, are heading east at the moment to line ourselves up to attack this cyclone and make the best of it. Um, or I should say, not cyclone, we're going to call it a cyclone. And that is currently up in this area here and is going to track southwest. We're going to head north and go straight into the eye of the storm, so to speak, which uh, all sounds quite frightening, but um, I will flip over my page and explain why. So, uh, bearing in mind, this is my first cyclone I've sailed into. So, effectively, it is a low pressure and in the southern hemisphere unlike the northern hemisphere the winds go clockwise around a low pressure and so therefore they also all go a little bit in towards the low center so this is your wind and obviously in terms of sailing and in order to get the best shift we're essentially trying to get north so we want to end up here. We're currently somewhere down here. So what we want to do is, as we approach the system here, because the wind's going to be coming from the southeast a bit more, we will get lifted into the, into the low. So we want to try and hit this western edge and the low center. And then we will jibe out and uh, hopefully get knocked out. So then essentially we get the straightest the shortest distance. Obviously if we came on in here you can see that the wind comes from the other side and we'd be all headed and we'd also have to go upwind which is super slow. We don't want to do that. And if we were out here we won't get as much of the, the, the strongest breeze and again we'd probably have to jibe which isn't again as quick as this kind of more reaching faster angle stuff. So that's why it's quite critical to sort of try and get the low centre right, um, uh, which is the big thing. On uh, these cyclones though, in this area here, that is a cloud. <laughs> it's my best cloud drawing. And that, we should show you a snapshot of the satellite image, is a monster cloud, as I would say, on a satellite image. And that's really convective and that'll be really squally. So at the moment we're expecting sort of 30 knots in this region, but uh, it's likely in terms of gust, you could get probably almost half that again. So we could well be looking at sort of 40 to 45 knot gusts. Um, and obviously also a lot of rain in this area here. So we want to head into this area to make the most and get the strongest breeze and also get the best shift. But equally, it's going to probably be quite full on, even though it's not a tropical cyclone. It's just a little disturbance. It's still going to have quite a bit of breeze associated with it.